Eight and two on the season. They've lost four straight to Michigan, and nobody is happy about it. But with that record, the Buckeyes are second in the Big Ten, and they are headed for the Citrus Bowl. Today on ABC Sports College Football, a Big Ten traditional, the Michigan Wolverines and the Ohio State Buckeyes. Number six, Michigan, number 17, Ohio. It was 10 years ago that uh, the Rose Bowl team lost a game here. Weather's a bit mucky. It's uh, been raining off and on since the middle of the night. It's very gray and will rain some more probably before the day is done. And Illinois has been something of a wart for both these teams because uh, they have uh, beat Ohio State and tied Michigan. John Cooper, of course, has been a core celeb around here now for at least two years, and he's 0-4 against the Michigan Wolverines. Here's the kickoff with Robert Smith and Butler Benito ben Benote deep. This is Smith carrying the ball. Very dangerous, very strong runner, long-legged. The quarterback for the Buckeyes is uh, Kirk Herbstreit who has uh, had three touchdowns and five interceptions during the course of 92, but is playing better now than he did in the early part of the season. The diehard starting lineup for Ohio State features number 26, Smith at the tailback. Cochran, the fullback, is basically a blocker. Sanders is the real speed of the Ohio State offense at a wide receiver position. Little play action delay, ball thrown to the fullback, Cochran, and Cochran. Makes a big play out of it, going to midfield for Ohio State. 6'2", 235 from Middletown. So it's first down for the Buckeyes here midfield. Little pop pass over the middle, goes to the tight end. Cedric Saunders, the offensive front for Ohio State, and they need a good ball game out of the big fellas today. Sanders checks into the ball game now. Beatty checks in for Ohio State on the 40 of Michigan. They'll run the running play with Smith. Finding daylight coming around the corner and goes down to the 26 yard line before Shante Peoples. Chris Hutchinson, who has occasionally been an outside linebacker, is back at tackle for the moment with Henderson and Stanley. Tyson Walker, Morrison, and Stoich. William Stoich is a new member of that linebacking core. He plays the run pretty well, and that's why he's in there. Corwin Brown is the leader of the defensive secondary for Michigan. It is another first down for Ohio State at the Michigan 26. Herb Street wanted to throw. It's been raining, as I told you. A big loss of eight yards, and it is second down. Same play. Passes to the sidelines, and the pass is caught again by Cedric Saunders, and Chris Sanders comes out. Well, they've only got one wide man now with a double tight end alignment. On the play with Smith. Smith running behind the blocking on the right side, and that's where Cedric Saunders. Remember, it's wet. 38-yard try for Tim Williams. Ohio State trying to get on the board first. Block. Taken out of the air by number eight for the Michigan Wolverines, Dwayne Ware, the quarterback. The ball was blocked by... John Agnes Charles, and he is from Quebec. And the Michigan Wolverines will go to work. The ball is resting just outside the 22-yard line, or just inside the 22. The snap to Elvis Gerbach, the quarterback, and they come out throwing the ball as he hits his tight end, Tony McGee. Elvis Gerbach, the senior, Willoughby Hills, Ohio. His career versus Ohio State reflected there. Averaging just over 113 yards per game. The diehard starting lineup for Michigan. Tyrone Wheatley is at tailback, the man who had so much trouble hanging on the ball last week. Well, let's see what happens under the circumstances today at Ohio State. Wheatley is in there as the single back and has the ball. And he puts it away. I think you can see that very clearly. The offensive front for the Michigan Wolverines is a good one and plenty big enough. Thank you. Anchored by the center, Steve Everett. It's second down and four. Ball at the 48-yard line of Michigan. 
No score in the ball game. First possession for the Wolverines. Wheatley carrying the ball. Will pick up a couple of yards to midfield. Michigan keeps two men outside, though. Tackle behind the line of scrimmage, number 57, Greg Smith, the middle guard. Loss on the play, back to the 45-yard line. Little foundation. The punt is away by uh, Stapleton for uh, Walter Taylor. Uh, let's see where they put Chris Hutchinson. He's uh, top of the screen. Top of the screen and outside. Yeah. Standing up. Number 97 now drops off. Herb Street gives the ball to Robert Smith, who weighs 195 pounds. At second down and eight. Man in motion is Saunders, the tight end. Give it to Smith going that way. Got a block on the corner with Saunders. Smith around it. Out of bounds. First down, Ohio State. And it's first down at the 34-yard line for Ohio State. Herb Street fakes to Smith, buys time, throws behind the intended receiver, Greg Beatty. Well, they were tackling the ball all day, yep. no question about it. Yep. There's another element called concentration, too. Good defensive flow there by the Michigan Wolverines. Led, and it's third down, 11 for the Buckeyes. No score in the first quarter of play. Second possession for Ohio State. They're in the shotgun. Herb Street throws underneath the dropping coverage to Brian Stabline. He's kicking into the wind. Very high. Not going to go very far. Alexander with a fair catch call. And uh, now for the Wolverines with Bernie Leggett lined up as the single back. We're back. Let's it go down the sidelines for Alexander. He slips and falls. It is intercepted by Ohio State's Chico Nelson. At the 36-yard line. By the turnover last Saturday. This is Robert Smith. It should affect them more. Herb Street looks down the middle. He had a man for a minute, stayed blind, but he couldn't get it to him. And finally, he turns up the field, running the ball. Third and two. He looked for Robert Smith to go that way, and here he goes. And he's got the first down. They'll mark him at the 48-yard line. But two years ago, up at Ann Arbor. 83. Time goes swiftly. Herb Street's got a major problem. It's called Hutchison. Coming up on five minutes to go in the first quarter. Herb Street's pass is underneath, caught by Stabline at the midfield. Let's see why. On third and eight. Let it go. Sanders. Penalty flag. He was against Maloney. This is a good call. This is a good call. They had not in their chain, too, over there. <laughs> they did, didn't <laughs> that, they? That shook him up. <laughs> Give it a Smith. Well, I'll tell you what. Number 22, Ty Law, the freshman. <laughs> <laughs> Herb Street's pass. Good. Stay blind. Very good possession receiver. Not Herb Street is now six out of seven for 74 yards. 4.20 to go in the first quarter, no score. Herb Street throws it again. Well off the mark. He was leading Stabline. And he, is not, he has never played better in his career than he is playing right now, and I think it's smart what they're doing, letting him throw a little bit early. Second down and 10 from the Michigan 21. The sideline, the ball dropped. Little several pass into the middle. Doesn't work. This is a 39-yard front. No score, so this is a chance still for Ohio State to get on the board first. This time he gets it up. And he gets it through. 
And Ohio State takes the lead at 358 to go in the first quarter by three. Comes out to the 33. And Ohio State almost did get caught in the neutral zone. Free play here. Wheatley with about a 10-yard run over the right side. He may have the kind of uh, natural running talent, though, that I was going to say it would serve him well. Yeah, this. I was thinking the same thing. Greg Smith, we mentioned, uh, as the middle guard, he made that big play early on. We just received a uh, two-year postgraduate scholarship. Steve Tobar, of course, is an All-American, and deservedly so. Williams and Powell are very quick. Roger Harper is the ringleader of the defensive core. Put it at the 44-yard line. Go to a two-back set. Gerback will give it to Powers. Brown running in the middle, turns it outside. Searching for some daylight. Second down and six. Powers staying busy. Breaks it. Going to the sidelines where he felt he had some rooms. Powers looks pretty good. First down. Play slow. So Michigan's offense now. Averaging 270 yards on the ground per game. Alexander's way down here by himself. Single coverage with Walton. But they run the ball inside with Powers. And second down and three after the run by Powers. Ricky still got it. He runs right into number 84, Craig Powell. Four fifth-year seniors in the offensive line. Leggett, the single back, on third and short. He's a 237-pounder, and he's got the first down. In fact, there was enough of a hole there. The first quarter is over after one. Three-nothing, Ohio State. It's first down on the 24-yard line of Ohio State. Gives that ball to Wheatley, bounces outside, great speed, big man, 225 pounds, and he's inside the 10, first down around the 8-yard line. Defensively, Ohio State, not too bad. First and goal from the 8, here comes Wheatley again. He put that ball away, didn't he? Now they're sitting down there, second down and goal from the 2-yard line with... Wheatley, the deep man, and he's got it. And he's taken down at the three. Leggett checks in. He's the single back. Gerback looks, takes off, dives, goal line, touchdown, Michigan. He's hurt family as... Elizabeth. He gets a low line drive and he missed it. Doesn't matter how you pronounce it, the result is the same as last week. He missed his first extra point last week. So having missed the point after, it's Michigan 6, Ohio State 3, and the here's Chuck. For Ohio State, you'll have Smith and Benote back there. It is Smith at the 9. And taken down at the 24. Robert Smith, your single back now for Ohio State. As Michigan has gone to the lead 6-3 to three here in the second quarter of play. 13-03 remaining. And Smith with the ball. No room as he tried to... It actually not only took the wind out of him, but he's having a little bit of problem breathing. So they're going to keep him out for quite some time here until they're absolutely sure what the situation is. Little pop over the middle to Cedric Saunders, the tight end. But it rained run. heavy last night, and it, it really has affected the field. Herb Street back, getting some heat. And rather than risk his body, the program five years ago. Almost 
run together in the backfield, but the pass was finally thrown complete to the fullback, Dockrin. And Dockrin will have a first down. On first down, Smith. You got to wrap him up. It was Smith. Set out last year because of, uh, I think, probably several reasons, some of which we probably still don't know for sure. Real agile guy to begin with. He doesn't, doesn't have quick feet. He's not good outside the pocket. Number 20, Corwin Brown takes Robert Smith this year. Alexander lets it go, and nice play. They got it out of there. They got it just before it crossed the goal line. Todd Collins checks in, 6'5", 240, sophomore, Walpole Mass, and he is the man of the future. And they have put the ball out on the 20 instead of the 3. I'll tell you about that after this play. This is Jesse Johnson on his first appearance, and he's taken down. Then somebody else got into the conversation and said he was over the goal when he slapped it back. This is Chico Nelson. He was not over the goal, and that's a big break for Michigan. Second down and short. And he gives it to Leggett, and Bernie gets the first down out on the 33 of it. Jesse Johnson. Gets a greeting from number 90, Tyrone Wheatley, back into the lineup. The single back now at 7.50 to go in the first half, and Michigan leading 6-3. to three. Todd Collins' first pass of the day, and it's Wheatley out of the backfield. Wheatley dives ahead. Collins gets the first down, or Wheatley did, actually, off that reception, and has the ball now, and he is taken down behind the line of scrimmage by Jason Simmons. Second down and 14. Collins puts Wheatley in motion. Good protection. Tip down the middle. Number two. You've got to give Ohio State, the other team, time to substitute. And they did. Ohio State wasn't sure how many people they had out there. They threw it across the field of Wheatley, setting up a an open field screen almost for Ohio State. Low kick. Taylor can't get to it and field it. They're going to knock that thing dead inside the five. Put it on the three-yard line so everything works just right. Ohio State from the three-yard line now. They didn't move the ball this time. Pass is thrown out here to state line, and uh, Brian can't get his feet working. A little looser today. Second down and five. Herb Street throwing on the run and hitting his target stave line right between the eights. Robert Smith. Second down and six. Ball sail. Walking sailing out of his hands. Third down and six. Pretty good piece of running there. Time remaining in the first half, 358, Michigan six, Ohio State three. Herb Street still got it, runs away from the clutches of Zakowitz. Oh, I'll let him tell you. <laughs> Jeff Tucker, single back. Second down and ten. The pass is over the head of Sanders. He was... Uh, they haven't thrown that little swing to Smith yet today. Out of the shotgun, they hand it to Smith. And he's up to the 40, but... Got a chance with it. Penalty flag. Everybody that's got a flag has lost it. We're back injured. 
scoring a touchdown. The only touchdown of the ball game, and Collins has replaced him. And the quick feet of the Jesse skater, Johnson. Jesse Johnson. Whenever the play comes, you have certain people in the ball game that you need to get in there. Now, dead ball, all start, offense. Johnson, the lone back. Pressure coming. Penalty flag thrown. Well, the old shoe now gets a little loud. The crowd gets into the ball game. This can be a very noisy place. Collins wanted to go deep. Runs out of time. Number 56 eats him up. Randall Brown, sophomore. Want to draw with Jesse Johnson. And he is to the Ohio State 49. Golden gets it out, a low line drive. This time Taylor's got a little room, but he goes quickly to the sidelines. 23. Ohio State ball. They got 59 seconds to work with in the first half. They trail by three points. Herb Street gets it off to the sideline. State line trying to get out of bounds, and he does. Meaning he ain't running fly patterns. Herb Street back. Underneath. Smith. He's out of bounds. Going for the marker, didn't get to it. Comes into this ball game today with 600, over 650 yards. They go inside with the big guy, Coughlin, the fullback, and he'll have the first down. Ohio State very much in this ball game now. If they get to halftime at six to three. Good pass. Catch, stay blind. In this game, and he's a hot player coming in. Second down and one out of the shotgun. Underneath, stay blind again. Another first down. Clock stop. 30 seconds to play. And as soon as they get him in place, they'll snap the ball. They're on the Michigan side now. Was snapped. Left tackle. So let's see. Screen. And Michigan smelled it. And now they've got the burner in there, the fellow whose feet you see at the top of the picture, that's Chris Sanders. And he takes off. And Herb Street turns it over that way and throws underneath him for Chris, for uh, Cedric Saunders from the 47-yard line. Third down. And 15. 18 seconds. Penalty flag. Holding call coming up against Ohio State. Somebody hit, hit to the hate. Whoa, big call there. Somebody's head slap. Wolverines leading by three points. In a defensive ball game, pretty much. Herb Street gets it off incomplete. It was intended for Greg Beatty. And it'll be 56 yards. 56. He kicked one here in high school in the playoff at 57. On the way. Go! Just missed it. So it's over. First half in, Michigan 6, Ohio State 3. I expect the old board of trustees has got a little clout in this whole thing. <laughs> and probably the, there you go. You just said the key Source word. of a lot of, of the uncertainty. Six-yard line for uh, Mercury Hayes, the freshman out of Houston, Texas. That's a special team. So from the 23, here goes Michigan now. As they move Leggett in the backfield and hand the ball off. Uh, nope. Take it and uh, give it away. They do give it away. Powers 23, Leggett 10, and Johnson 28. That's the running core for the Wolverines. Here goes Wheatley again. And there's a red shirt in the backfield with him. Short yardage play coming here as they put in the, the big uglies along the front. Give it to Leggett and with his power on the offensive line surge. They'll put it up on the 35-yard line and have the first down. Todd Collins, the quarterback.
Wheatley. He just slid off the stack. Oh, geez, did you see that? Chico Nelson is flat of his back. 225 pounds. Holding on to the ball much better this week. And Nelson is just, he's down. Ball just short of the 40. Jesse Johnson is in the backfield for Michigan and has the ball. And has a first down. Leading six to three. Johnson again. About three yards. And we go to the second down and seven. This reads back. And it is. Collins lets it go. He had Alexander over here and then threw it out of bounds. The only point was they didn't have any cash to go with it. That's in there. Oh, he had it and he dropped it. Nelson got a hand on it. Fourth punt of the day for Stableton. Got it out with the wind behind him. It's a tight spiral and it goes well into the end zone. The Graffin Reed is now your man at the top of the picture. Herb Street throws to the tight end Saunders up at the 35, third and six. Protection is good, the pass to stage line. First down, Brian makes a big play out of it. All the way down to the Michigan 45-yard line. The Ohio State record is 13 catches by Gary Williams, 1981. First down for the Buckeyes, just inside the Michigan 45. It's only six to three ball game, Michigan leading. That pass, nice catch. But they haven't made him three goal, we'll three and out. Second down and five, send Robert Smith into the traffic. It is third down and four. Wolverine show blitz, pick it up. Walk for a penalty by the Graffin Raid. He felt he was held. It brings up fourth down. And it's toward the corner. But it takes a straight ahead bounce. Todd Collins remains the quarterback for the Wolverines. Johnson searching around for some daylight. 57 got in by the shoes and crowd trying to bother Collins. He turns around and looks at Tom Quinn, the referee. There's been a flag for the man on the side who threw it. Collins needs to go ahead and snap it, and he does. He gives it off to Johnson, and Johnson gets back to just over the 20. He went to Ohio State. Collins with good protection, and his pass is on the money to Toomer. Toomer's first catch of the day, and it's good for a first down. Tyrone Wheatley back down with Tony Leggett in the backfield. That's Tony McGee lined up on the wing for blocking purposes, and Wheatley breaks it big. Picks up about 12 yards on the carry. And that seems to have been corrected. Here he comes again. Let's go back and, and, and put it on the offensive line. Just do the run. Collins, a little pop to Tony McGee, the tight end. McGee's a load. You don't go. Uh... Big hole. Three laundry trucks and a small coach. Good lucky guy, though. He'll, he'll do well, I think. Wish him well. Great kid. First down. Pass complete. Tony McGee down to the 11-yard line. Tackle made by Tim Walton. Second down and three. Johnson. First down and goal to go at the five and a penalty flag. They're one man short. Finally, Doug Skeen gets out there. Johnson down the pipe to the one. That happens more than you might think, too. Johnson. 
reaches for the goal line and did not get there. The angle would be awful to try a field goal from here. Touchdown, Todd Collins. Nice call by Gary Moeller. You think uh, Bo Schembechler would have made that call? <laughs> Good. Minutes and 33 remaining in the third quarter. Michigan now by 10. Take a look at the fake on the last touchdown. Looks like Greasy at Purdue. Pretty good fake there. <laughs> All right, here we go with a kickoff that's going to go out of bounds. So now Ohio State can have it up on the 35. Plus yardage on first down. 13 times they have not made four yards, and 10 times they have. We'll get Raymond Harris at tailback for the first time today for Ohio State. Play action there, a little waggle, and the pass is away, and he had... Sanders open, but uh, uh, second down and 10. Minute and 27 to go in the third quarter. He got it off to the fullback, Cochran. And Cochran sticks his head between people. And the big fullback hammers. Didn't he go to Duke? Transfer to Duke, yeah. yeah. Carolina needs to win that game for a bowl bid. Play action again, ball thrown underneath. Again, it's the fullback Cochran, and again, it's a first down for Ohio State at the Michigan 40. Ball is given to Harris this time. Raymond Harris, so three's done. We'll be back with the finish after this message and the word from our ABC station. That incidentally sets a new single-season attendance record for six home games at Ohio Stadium. Michigan set a record at their place last week. Little pump there, throw to the sidelines, the stave line, and stave line is handled over there by Ty Law. Well, the total yardage for Ohio State is still almost uh, 41 yards more than Michigan. They just, they've moved the ball, but they haven't scored. They only ran for five yards in the third quarter. Herb Street buys time, rolling out, throws too high. This time for state line. Too long for a field goal, and you need, you need touchdowns. Down the middle, pass caught by state line for a first down. Raymond Harris is back in now on first down. A tailback. Stabline bellied it, kept it, goes down the middle with it to Sanders, got it on his hands. But Sanders between Wolverines. But Corwin Brown from the other side is coming. He's coming. And there he is. And that's why he's down. Yep. Ty Law is also shaken up. Second down and 10. 27-yard line, Robert Smith is the single back for Ohio State. Play action, they throw it to the sideline. Stave line doesn't hold it. He had it, but Corwin Brown. That's the fullback, Cuffman. And Chris Sanders checks back into the lineup at a wideout. He and Greg Beatty. That's Sanders in motion. Well, they run it. Bad time to run it. Uh, blitzing 13 15 to go in this ball game that sack moves the ball back to a second down and at least 15 for ohio state play action a lot of time now for herb street sideline he goes to jones and the big tight end 260 pound freshman and it's third down and four and they'll go for the three Tim Williams, 29 yards. He's missed one, uh, had one blocked and made one, and hit this one right through there. So at 12-15 to go in the ball game, it's now 13 to six, Michigan. In the ball game, a 
Buckeyes hang it on. Tyrone Wheatley, three yard line. Coming up the sidelines, one man takes him down. From the 26 yard line, Wheatley and Leggett line up behind Todd Collins. Wheatley has it. 72 couldn't hold him. They finally run him back and down after a yard pickup. I really don't know about that. Leggett. Brought down at the 30. Michigan being in the top 10 in the AP poll 30 times since 1936. That's a lot. That ball was thrown. Again, a timing pattern before the... Tried to kick it away from Taylor, but the ball goes across and gets it. There's nothing to do here when you got that many white shirts looking at you for uh, a second quarterback running touchdown today for Michigan. And Kirk Herbstreet, who's been uh, a plucky fellow today, going to turn in a big play here as he gets to the sidelines. Knocked out of bounds at the Michigan 43-yard line. First down, Ohio State. Up man, fullback, Cochran, two yards, looking forward to it. Maybe Syracuse's biggest game in a long time. Yep. For a lot of reasons. Second down and seven, knocked down by Steve Morrison. So they've controlled the ball, but they haven't converted in the touchdown. Call it third and eight. That's Cochran, the fullback. Oh, I like it. First down, Bucks. Smith, the single back. He's got it. Gets it down to the 25 and pick up the two. Exactly. And the other problem is the quarterback throwing the ball into the end zone. You just right now, Spaveline is out of the lineup, too. Yeah. Herb Street getting some heat, gets it off. Incomplete. Ball was too high. 217 yards was his last time. Third down and eight. They'll go to the shotgun. Try to buy a second here if they can. Over the middle. Beatty's got it. Beatty's loose. Beatty's at the 13. First down, Buckeye. And it's first down at the Michigan 13. Robert Smith. And maybe the eight. Call it the, the red zone because they want to stop, and the offense call it the green zone. Second down, six. Smith again. Down to the three, close to a first down. <laughs> <laughs> Counts as more than a loss. That one last week was tough on Michigan, I'll guarantee you. Felt like a loss coming out of there. That's Cochran, the fullback, and boy, did he get a licking at the line of scrimmage. Not to the first one. Option. Herb Street, first option of the game. Third and goal on the three. Now well, he's got, kept it again. And Marcus Walker ate him up. Earl, just remember, Earl Bruce was winning his coach in the Big Ten, and they fired him. Cochran is the remaining back. Herb Street's going to throw it. Does. Touchdown. Beatty. almost got loose but the kick is good and the score is tied the last tie in this series is 1973 10 to 10 but it down it does come out to the 20 first down for the Wolverine Todd Collins stays at quarterback Give it to Jesse Johnson. He's stuck down at the line of scrimmage. Second down and 10 for Michigan. 
Collins, play action, pressure coming, gets it off, down the middle. Pass dropped by Alexander, ball behind Derrick. He made a noble try. Third and ten. Hit as he threw it, intended for Toomer. Down the list. Buckeyes have blocked five this year. You don't want to rough the kicker. It's not a very good kick. Walter Taylor's back there. It's bouncing around at midfield. Ohio State's going to get the football first down at their own 45-yard line. The people in Ohio. Cochran Smith to line up in the backfield. Herb Street getting some heat. Down he goes, taken down. He slipped. And that little slip. Michigan would be in great shape. Second down and 16. Herb Street steps away, delivers it, and he's down right there. Saunders made the catch on a knee. Michigan has three timeouts remaining. Ohio State one. The blitz. Pass. Beatty. Knocked down at the Michigan 49. They're going to need four more yards. Defensive coaches are a little pressure there on uh, Joel Kessel. Alexander fumbled the ball. Michigan dives. Ohio State goes. And it's Michigan ball. My goodness. We have a minute and three seconds to play. The fortunes. I remember sitting down there on the field one time. Mike Phipps was playing at Purdue and almost goes to death on the field. Here, so close. Now, what's your personality if you're Michigan down here? Well, you give it to Tyrone Wheatley. Do some blocking. And we're down to 40 seconds. See, the problem is if you turn the ball over down here, the game is over. They'll kick a field goal. Well, you don't get the you don't get the first down here. He's short of it. Third down and one on the 18-yard line for Michigan. Their own 18. Collins gives it to Wheatley. He gets the first down. That stops the clock to move the chains. Alexander on a square in deep over the middle. They're going to throw it here because they've got the, all their fast people out there. No, they're not going to throw it. They give it to Tyrone Wheatley. And he runs it across the third to the 31, but a 13-13 time. Alexander is at the bottom of the pick. They run it with Wheatley. He gets out of bounds. Uh, he runs out at about the 44-yard line. He has an even 100 yards today, Tyrone Wheatley. All right, here you go. You got Fitz at the bottom of the picture. Here's your pass. Let's it go. There's three of them down there. And they don't get it. And time has run out. The game is over. There is no time remaining on the clock. So the Michigan Wolverines and uh, the Ohio State Buckeyes fight. I think there's another second. Uh, it, it ran off after the play. I'm going to tell you that right now. John Cooper was out on the field, whooping and hollering. If they don't score on this play, it's definitely done unless there's a defensive penalty. This one is for Alexander. And it's intercepted. Walter Taylor, lateral, still coming. Caught by Walter Smith on the sidelines, out of bounds, and now the game is definitely over. And it ends in a 13-13 tie. First time since 1910, Michigan has had three ties in a season.